Hello gamers! Alan Wake 2 is no doubt a graphically beautiful game. In today's video I'm gonna share with you how to crank the maximum graphical quality with a decent frame rate even on the modern entry level GPUs. We're gonna optimize game settings and utilize best as much as possible upscaling technologies provided by both Nvidia and AMD, but also we will dig in some game files. Let's start! As always display mode should be a personal preference with some exceptions which I will mention soon so we're gonna come back to this option later. Resolution choice will be one of the most important parts of my video because we're gonna use a little bit of magic from Nvidia to be exact DLDSR. If you want to learn more about this technology check my description for Digital Foundry video which nails the topic. In short, normal DSR is allowing you to render game in higher resolution and later downscale it to the resolution of your display. Deep learning version of the DSR is using tensor cores in downscaling process. What's very interesting, it can still be used with the DLSS and subjectively I must say that it helps to make games look so much better compared to the native resolution. On the left side game runs on a 1080p natively, on the right only 940p. To turn on DSR you have to click right mouse button on your desktop and then NVIDIA control panel. Then go to manage 3D settings and here seek for our DSR factors. Pick them all from the top to the bottom and ones already picked as a deep learning versions will be grey out not to conflict between each other. There is also DSR smoothness slider. I personally like image being sharp but if you don't consider changing it to 20 or 30%. Click apply and you are done. Let's go back to the game. Now, if you want to play borderless, just make sure that your desktop resolution is the same as the resolution you want to play. In my case, it's 1620p, which is uh, 2.25 multiplier for my 1080p monitor. If you have display with a higher resolution like 1440p or more, you should still try DLDSR. Just with the lower DLSS quality depending on your GPU compute power. AMD card's counterpart for DSR is VSR which can be turned on in the AMD Adrenal panel. For a DLSS I'm using Balance on RTX 3060 with 12GB of VRAM, but if your GPU is better like 3070 you should try a quality DLSS instead. Just remember that playing on that high resolution comes with a substantial usage of VRAM. That's why for every 8GB VRAM card I recommend to drop high texture resolution to medium, especially though visual difference is barely noticeable and you will avoid stuttering. Post-processing quality gonna require quite a lot of our attention, because visually it doesn't give much but tanks performance for even 15%. The most noticeable difference between low and high is that high is reducing significantly shimmering during scenes which are involving depth of field effect. To adjust this problem we just gonna disable this effect in one of the game configuration files, achieving this way both performance and lag of the graphical artifacts. To disable DOF, click on the start menu and type or paste from description of this video what you see on the screen and hit enter. In this window, click R on your keyboard and find folder called Remedy. Alan Wake 2. Then here, open file Renderer. Inside we are interested in three parameters. Vignette, Depth of Fill and Lens Distortion. Mainly we want to type false in place of true for depth of field but I recommend to do the same for two others, which in my opinion helps game to look more clear and nice. On top click file, save and done. At this point we can finally stop with the compromises and use some of the previously gained performance for options which will give us a higher quality of graphic. We will start from setting up our shadows resolution on high, which makes a huge visual difference for not that much of a hit into frame rate. The next option not worth compromises are screen space reflections. Low looks very noisy and noticeably affects game visuals. SSR on high fixes the problem for only mild difference in performance. This way we've come to the end of presentation for the most important optimizations I found. Rest of the options like motion blur and film grain should depend on personal preference. 
and also if performance was staying the same during the test in multiple locations I was leaving the option for example on medium just to boost my ego. But to be a little bit more serious I was testing all setting compositions and I found that the one that you are looking at is the most balanced. I was considering changing volumetric lighting to high but at the end I decided that visual difference is not worth performance hit. If my video was helpful or you just like it, consider leaving a subscription and clicking like button. In future on my channel you will find similar content for DLSS games. Thank you and have fun. Sakai so, you? I didn't tell them anything. Oh my god! <laughs>